let us do speed time graphs today first case is when body is moving with uniform speed or i can say constant speed and since speed is same acceleration is zero i told you earlier also that speed and velocity are used in the same sense in the graphs so constant speed means zero acceleration now look at this example at zero seconds body is traveling at 100 meter per second speed 5 seconds also 10 seconds 15 seconds the speed is 100 meter per second now plot this data at 0 100 at 5 seconds it is 100 meter per second at 20 seconds 100 meter per second then join the dots you will get a straight line parallel to the time axis okay now you remember in the distance time graph we can find out the speed of the body by finding slope here in the speed time graphs we can find two things acceleration and the distance traveled acceleration ka to koi question hi nahi hai because acceleration is zero in this case now see how do we find the distance traveled now for example i ask you to find out the distance traveled by the body in the first 5 seconds to aap kya karoge distance hame pata hai hota it is speed into time so we know speed is 100 aur maine bola time mujhe 5 seconds mein find karna hai so it is 100 into 5 500 meter right so basically what you are doing you are actually finding this area you are multiplying 5 and 100 so what do you do this rectangle ka area find kar rahe ho, na? 100 into 5 length into breadth if i ask you tell me what is the distance traveled in first 10 seconds so what do you do 10 into 100 so you are this area find kar rahe ho. so what you are actually doing you are finding the area under the speed time graph right so Area under speed time graphs, graph gives you distance traveled by the body. If I ask you, tell me what is the distance traveled between 10 and 20 seconds. So, you just find this area. Find kar. Okay, this rectangle ka area. The breadth of the rectangle is 10 and the length of the rectangle is 100. So, 100 into 10, 1000 meter. Clear? Now, next case is uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration means speed is increasing at uniform rate. Speed and velocity are used in same sense. Therefore, I'm saying speed is increasing at uniform rate. So I've taken this example in every five seconds, speed is increasing by 50 meter per second. If you are not clear with these terms, please watch part three of the playlist. Okay, so when you plot this data, 0, 0, 5, 50, 10, 100, 15, 150, you get a straight line. So this represents uniform acceleration. Now you can find two things from this graph you can find the acceleration you can find the distance i just told you area under the speed time graph gives distance now if i ask you what is the distance traveled in the first 10 seconds so you will find the area find karenge, area of this right triangle okay if i ask you what is the distance traveled between 15 and 20 seconds so you will find this area area under the speed time graph okay if i ask you what is the distance traveled in 20 seconds so you will find the area find the whole right triangle ka area okay now next is how do you find acceleration you find acceleration by the slope slope gives you acceleration i have told you how to find slope take any two points on the line I'm taking these two points, suppose. Then what we do, we make a right triangle. We make a right triangle. Slope is given by perpendicular upon base. This is the perpendicular. This is the base. What is the length of perpendicular? 150 minus 50. What is the length of the base? 15 minus 5. You get 100 by 10 equal to 10 meter per second square. Clear? Acceleration is 10 meter per second square so remember we can find out two things from the speed time graph one is acceleration by finding slope second is distance by finding out the area under the line now look at the two graphs what can you say about the motion of the body dono mein straight line hai, but in the first case it is sloping downwards in the second case it is sloping upwards Aap data se bhi interpret kar sakte hai. you can see that the speed is increasing uniformly right so this represents uniform acceleration and here in this case the speed is decreasing uniformly right 200 150 100 in every five seconds the speed is decreasing by 50 meter per second so this represents uniform retardation now for non-uniformly accelerated motion what is non-uniform acceleration 
वेलोसिटी चेंजेस बाय अनइक्वल अमाउंट्स इन इक्वल इंटरवल्स ऑफ टाइम ठीक है आई हैव टेकन दिस एग्जांपल यू कैन सी दैट इन एवरी 5 सेकंड्स स्पीड इज चेंजिंग बाय अनइक्वल अमाउंट्स सो प्लॉट दिस डेटा एंड यू विल गेट अ कर्व्ड लाइन अ क्विक रीकैप दीज आर वेलोसिटी टाइम ग्राफ्स वी कैन इवन यूज वेलोसिटी इन प्लेस ऑफ स्पीड एवरीवेयर ओके यूनिफॉर्म वेलोसिटी स्ट्रेट लाइन पैरेलल टू टाइम एक्सिस zero acceleration of course velocity is not changing so acceleration is zero when it is a straight line like this that means uniform acceleration now what is the difference between these two graphs dono mein straight line hai difference is that you have some initial velocity here yahan pe initial velocity zero hai it is starting from the origin here we have some value of the initial velocity initial velocity is not zero theek hai uniform acceleration hai but initial velocity zero nahi hai Curved line है, we we can say that acceleration is non-uniform. इसमें slope increase हो रहा है, so it is positive acceleration. Here the slope is decreasing with time. It is retardation, negative acceleration. ये क्या है? Uniform है, but velocity decrease हो रहा है, so it is uniform retardation. We have just discussed. I will discuss important questions on speed-time graphs in the next video.